We've got the EcoFlow, the Renogy, and then the DIY kit. What is up guys, Jimmy Chang here, and I am here to talk about solar panels. I recently made a video comparing solar versus gas generators for portable power in emergency situations. In this video, I am going to follow that up with how I harvest solar energy without using rooftop solar panels. I'll show you how I made my own 400 watt solar suitcase and how it compares to the most popular portable solar panels in the market. While doing research for the solar versus gas generator video, I realized just how fragile our electrical grid is and if the grid were to ever go down for an extended period of time, the gas generator would be useful as long as I had access to fuel. But in a real disaster scenario, fuel may be difficult to get. And while you can't make your own gasoline, you can certainly collect and store your own solar power. That's one of the big advantages of solar generators. Another advantage of the solar panel suitcase over the solar panel rooftop system is the portability for when you have to travel or if you ever have to sell or move from your home. So let me show you how I made my own 400 watt solar suitcase. It's a set of solar panels for easy storage and easy usage when you need it. For this project, I bought two 200 watt panels from Amazon along with a few extra cables. I made one trip to Home Depot and I spent $50 there for parts and a PVC cutter. I'll have a list of all the stuff I bought to make this in a link down below. The entire project took me about two hours, but that included filming. So if you were to do this on your own, it should go much faster. PVC cutter connectors for the PVC. Got my PVC pipe. And let's go get the solar panels. All right, we will have two of these. We'll start work on this guy first. So I'll put the styrofoam here so we don't scratch up the glass on the front. What we plan to do is make a stand. I'm going to have a PVC pipe coming across and then we'll have the legs coming off of that piece of pipe. Much easier than using a saw. It's a little bit of a tight fit. I am using a heat gun to soften the ends of this pipe just so that I could make it a little bit smaller so I can fit it into the space there between the frame and the glass. And I don't need to squeeze it too much, just a little bit. PVC is pretty cool how pliable and workable this material is. Before it was a really tough squeeze to get that in there. And now, now it goes in no problem. So we're gonna do the same for the other side here. So just make sure you get this on before you squeeze it. Squeeze the end just so that we can get an easier fit there. Okay, so that all slides in nicely. Super cool. We'll just make things a lot easier. Slide that up. It's kind of symmetric. We'll be good to go. With PVC, not only is it super easy to work with, it's very durable and it's very cheap. It's also somewhat moldable. So when I needed the pipes to fit in between the panel frame, I used a heat gun to soften and reshape the PVC and it worked like a charm. So actually, I think I'm gonna keep the leg length as it is. Right now it's a little bit steeper than 40, 45 but you can adjust the legs out a little bit more. I can always cut it later if I don't like it. I'm gonna do this one more time and then I'll put them together and make kind of a solar suitcase. I'm using this broad utility hinge, two and a half inch, and I'm gonna be putting two of these on here and put it like so. You're also going to wanna to use flathead bolts. All right, got the bolts all tightened. Clamps off, take the spacer out. Wow, this is pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. Ooh, nice. Perfect. Then you just open up these legs. For a total of $350 and two hours putting it all together, I have a really nice solar suitcase that I can easily store away in the shed or garage when not in use. 
When needed, it's simple to set it all up and it will get me 400 watts of energy. This is amazing. All right, let me show you how to fold this. Just lift it. The legs go in. These hinges feel sturdy. And these are the clear bumpers. This is so that when you close it, it's, it's got a soft close. The reason why I just have it sitting here on top of this bush is because I just couldn't find a good way to, to keep this up. So the panels themselves are really nice quality. EcoFlow makes a sleek, slim profile 400 watt portable solar panel, which includes an XT60 charging cable. It also comes with a carrying case that acts as a stand. We've used the EcoFlow the most out of all the panels because we've had it the longest. The slim profile makes it really nice for storage or for packing for a trip. But the setup with this whole system, it's kind of a pain. The panels are flimsy, the stand is floppy, the carabiner and grommet system to secure the panels to the stand, very cumbersome. One of the issues with this is you can't really change the orientation all that much with the in terms of the angle to the sun. And the other issue is when you need to move it, it's very unwieldy. You're gonna need at least one other person to help you out to make it easy, but moving it around, not super easy. In terms of it being compact, no other portable solar panel is more compact than this. The panels are durable. They have stood up to snow, to wind, to rain, no issues. If you include the case, the whole setup costs 42 pounds. The EcoFlow was selling for $1,200 when it first came out, which is pretty insane for 400 watt panels, but they're on sale now for $850. That's still $500 more than my DIY solar suitcase setup, but you're getting a much more portable, refined setup. If you're looking for something more rigid, lighter, easier to set up that costs less, then check out this 400 watt portable solar suitcase by Renogy. At just over 30 pounds, this setup weighs less and feels more sturdy. It's easy to open. The kickstand system is super easy to use and folding it is a breeze. It comes with a decent carrying case and the metal handles on the panels make carrying it super easy. Easy? Easy. These are durable panels. The other night it got really windy and it actually blew over. They didn't get damaged. So I like how it's rigid. It's got this metal rim. It's got these bumpers and then it has magnets inside so that when you fold it, it snaps closed. So the magnets make it want to close. The way you hold it with these two handles, it's very compact and it's very sturdy. I mean, it could come apart here potentially, but you can feel those magnets are pretty strong. They wouldn't hold it in. The cables are only on one side. So this is the drawback because if your power bank is on the other side, you're gonna have to do some rearranging. It's just so long. For $600, I see no reason to get the EcoFlow panels over these Renogy panels, unless you need something that folds up super thin. One drawback I did see with these Renogy panels is on windy occasions, the Renogy panels blew over from those strong winds, whereas the other panels did not. So make sure to stake down or weigh down the stands if it ever gets windy in your area. The DIY solar suitcase that I made earlier in this video costs $350 total and is the most affordable by far for 400 watt portable solar panels. It's the only setup that offers bifacial solar panels so you can harness the energy from the sun from both the front and the back side of the panels. Let's go see how much power it's bringing in. But the DIY setup is also the biggest and the heaviest of all these options that we've talked about. So make sure you have the storage space. So a lot of you may be wondering how the panels performed. All three setups performed well, getting near their advertised 400 watts with the DIY bifacial panels getting the highest peak power of 395 watts. A few things to note, when the panels got hot, power production decreased and in low light conditions, the bifacial panels did the best. Of these options, I love that my DIY solar suitcase folds up so nicely, it's really portable and very affordable, but I'm biased. Which of these portable options appeals the most to you? Please share in the comments below.